There are so many here in this country who've been trafficked. Now, when I look back, it seemed like those things didn't happen to me. I got married. All was well. We were a happy family. But then problems started to appear in our lives. We lacked money. We had a lot of debts. And one of us was going to have to go away somewhere to work. I decided I had to leave for Moscow with someone I knew and trusted. I arrived there. I worked a bit. I sent money home. After a while, we wanted to go back home. But then, the woman took our identity papers. In that day, we worked. They, the Chechens, these rough people, they took us to the basement. We were packing drugs and arms. When their contract people came there to pick up arms or drugs, if they liked the look of one of the girls, girls like us, that girl would get raped. I went through that too. We were in our third year there. We managed to escape. We walked for two days, and when we got to the border, they caught us. They attacked us and beat us hard on the head. I fell into a coma. I can't remember much, but I remember waking up in hospital without my pregnant tummy. It was difficult to take the baby in my arms when I knew it was the rapist's child. But when I held the baby, I understood. God, how good you are. The past didn't matter anymore. Either we choose death or we choose life and to be saved. Today I feel like a fulfilled person because I can help other girls. Nadia's story is just one of thousands of stories that happen here in Moldova. Moldova Mission exists to tell the young people here in Moldova about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we believe that once we expose them to the gospel, that that will transform their lives. And not only will we share the gospel with them, we want to educate them about the dangers that exist here in Moldova. Moldova Mission currently is constructing two homes to house orphans. We hope to put vulnerable children into these homes so that we can protect them from the human trafficking traps and give them a great life. And so the camp and the homes will work together to prevent these young children from being susceptible to the human trafficking traps here in Moldova. I pray for our country, and I want you to pray with us for this project that's so important, and especially for the camp.